I see that both of y'all are in. Knuckle up when you're ready. Now these two are both really good players. Real good players. So, it's going to be interesting this match for sure. This might be one of our longer ones. I know I just said 40 minutes estimate for the for the end of the circuit, but we might we might see things speed up a little. Well, we might see things slow down a little bit right here. This might be one of our 10 minute matches. All right, and right off the bat, Watcher's got a slight advantage just because he threw the ball more straightforward than Floodwall. Floodwall taking the time to do some bounce shots though. Keeping up with each other's volleys. Nice. Not giving up any ground. Professionals. They don't want to see. They know what strikes can do. Nice. And they don't want to see each other. There was a nice bounce shot from Floodwall forcing Watcher to keep his shield up there to see if he couldn't defend against it. Oh, he might do the same. Good reflect. See, and now Floodwall's at the point where he can catch his ball and feasibly reflect the Watcher's ball. All without giving up any advantage on his end. And that's where it starts to get really interesting. Floodwall hit double digits and strikes. But these two are good play. Ooh! Nice. First point goes to Floodwall. Oh, come on. No one get a point while I'm updating scores. I should really be holding this with this. Hand. There we go. Good shot. Oh! And the watcher takes it back. I told y'all not to get any points while I was doing scores. Haha, <laughs> there we are. We'll just keep this looking in this direction. Alright, and we're back to where we were at the start of the match, except Floodwall has eight strikes. Seven strike lead on Uhu on the watcher, and he uses it to get it. He cashes those strikes and gets a second point. And the nice thing about getting that second point that soon is that the Watcher doesn't have too much of a strike advantage on him for this next point. So it's looking real good for Floodwall. Hitting him with the nasty curves. The watcher needs to, to, to hit him out of, of line here. He needs to catch him. Something that's going to be easier as both of these players get more tired. Ooh, there's the second point for the Watcher. Bloodwall, though, going in with a 10-strike advantage, can fully control the field at this point. This is now officially a no-strike zone for the Watcher. And right foot, yeah, see? Th those are the sorts of things that put pressure on your opponent. Bounce shot and then straight forward. Now, Floodwall has his ball back, and the Watcher doesn't have his shield. Making it much easier for him to use his momentum to move forward in the match. Mm. The Watcher, though, pulling a, a point out of nowhere. Just goes to show that even advantages in this game. Oh, and look at how fast those balls are coming out. We're looking at the POV of the Watcher right now, and it was brutal. You, you know, you maybe get a second, yeah, less than a second's worth of reaction time to see what your opponent's going to do. Yeah, Christ. 27 strikes flood walls at. And the watcher is maintaining his defense. He's ducking. Ooh, those are 31. We are in the 30s as far as strikes go. And look at how fast those balls are flying. Jesus Christ. Flood wall continues to pick up more strikes. Oh my goodness, and the Watcher continues to defend! Oh my god! <laughs> 40 strikes! We are up to 40 strikes, ladies and gentlemen! And Floodwall is continuing to rack them up! Oh, and the Watcher takes it! Oh my god! 40 strikes! Those were some fast balls, let me tell you what. Alright. But that was only the first round, and I have to imagine nice. that. Oh, oh. I do not need my dismembered corpse inside the arena game. 
please no. As I was saying before I was interrupted by a floating corpse of my own design, um, you know, the, that probably took a lot out of the watcher trying to dodge that fast and that frequency of balls. So, we're going to, oh, but he already got a point. Okay. Hmm, okay. Just goes to show again, just because you may have an advantage doesn't mean that you've won the game. Floodwall needs to be using his... Ooh, there's the second point for the Watcher. That might have been enough to put... Oh, great game, guys! And that is enough to put the Watcher into semifinals and to send Floodwall to the loser circuit. I believe there was one point for Floodwall there. I believe. Ah, oh, well, I can go ahead and change this later.